Greetings and salutation, my friends. My name is Casey J. Hutchins. I'm a writer by trade and a gamer unpaid. Today, we're here to talk about the magicians. This class of sorcerer, when they hold the Rock of Afroprob, the center gem glows yellow, and a set of cards dances above the frame. Or the rock, sorry. <laughs> so magicians are expert hand-to-hand -hand combats. They're able to... Uh, use scarves efficiently, they're able to make them move certain ways, they're able to teleport, they're able to see and smoke and create smoke, and most importantly, they're extremely efficient with cards. Now with cards, they can reinforce or uh, augment or uh, strengthen the actual material of a card, so they can throw it and it'll go across the room, and it could split logs, or they could put it into a fan, make it a sword that way. They can have the cards wrap around their bodies to make it like armor, and with enough cards, it becomes like armor. Uh, they usually carry multiple decks, decks on them, so they're able to keep using and firing it. Um, with all these skills, along with one other, which I'll talk about, they're also known as the soldiers of Mendoxum because they're so almost scary in combat. Well, not scary, but coordinated. But the main reason they are is for their expertise in collaborative magic. Now, what that means is, is uh, either one or more types of sorcerer combine their magic and use it. So with magicians... They'll imbue the collaborative magic into a card. And they'll separate these into decks depending on what the uh, magic is used on. So let's think of an example. One of the most common ones you'll see with a magician that is using collaborative magic is a pyromancer deck. In which they'll have cards that uh, such spells would be they could put it underneath dirt. And then when somebody steps on said card, it's a mine. So it explodes. Um, they can uh, throw one that turns into a trail of fire. They're able to even just be able to have a spark to be able to give a pyromancer the ability to use their magic at that point. Uh, another example could be the uh, necromancer. They they are able to use make a deck full of tarot cards, and those do all different kinds of things depending on. Uh, the image on the card. Same thing with summoners. They'll summon. Yeah, the examples go on and on and on. And I could really go on about the magician, but I think we'll stop here because, unfortunately, in the book *Scars and Scales* by Casey G. Hutchins, we don't see him yet. I mean, we see. No, we don't even see any of that, and we probably won't see them until book probably the end of book two, maybe book three. Um, yeah, I think it's the end of book two. But anyways, um, that's it for the magicians. So I'll either see you, talk to you, see you, hmm, words. I'll either see you next time or the time after that or never. Bye-bye.